Tell me about Paul. Who was he? Paul was my son. Um, he'd be uh, 18 if he's still alive right now. He's always a very smart young man. Got glasses when he was a year old. He's always loved to make people laugh and make jokes and loved roller coasters and bowling and straight A student till his last year. His grades started to dwindle. Is it is that when you knew something was something was up? Yeah, I kind of asked him. He was like, you know, what's wrong? Is the work too hard? And no, it wasn't. And then uh, it's like everything all right at school, and he told me everything was fine. And then he, you know, he'd mention like uh, there's some kids bothering him, or you know, and, uh, nothing real bad, you know, the normal, the, you know, he wore glasses, straight A student, so obviously that alone, kids feel that's in their right to pick on someone. Do you remember anything, any of the things that they said to him? Uh, no. There was one time he went to uh, some program called Starbase. Mm -hmm. he was and all he came home, he was extremely upset. He wouldn't tell me what they said. He just said, Mom, it was the worst thing imaginable one person could say to another. And no matter how hard I tried, he wouldn't tell me no more. I called the school, the uh, superintendent, and they said, you know, they keep an eye on him. And I assumed everything was okay. He just tell me after that everything's fine. No, people's leaving me alone. And then uh, something happened physically where he started losing his hair in spots, and uh, he uh, had to wear a baseball hat to school. I called him and like, look, kids might make fun of him or whatever. Can keep an eye on him. And uh, he's like, yeah, sure, we'll definitely make sure he's all right. And that was the school? Yeah, and the superintendent. I had uh, talked to him, and he said, well, you know, it's definitely fine for him to wear a hat. And, you know, he's like, I will definitely make sure, you know, nobody bothers him. And obviously, that didn't happen. His grades still got worse. We did try to pull him out of school because he wanted to come back to Northridge. And the school refused, said they didn't have open enrollment. And uh, they, they fought me, they wouldn't let me enroll him in another school. I told him, I was like, I'm sorry. I was like, the only other choice we have is, you know, to move. He said, don't worry about it, everything is fine. It was only a couple days before school ended. He had a knot on his knee. I had left work early that day, took him to get x-rays done. And uh, they were laughing and joking. We pulled up in front of the house. We were talking about girls. He's like, you know, worried about finding a girlfriend. He's at that age. My last conversation with him was, don't worry, son. I'll go buy a Corvette and I'll take you around and pick up. You can pick up all sorts of chicks. They'll just have to sit in your lap. We were just sitting there laughing. He got a text message. And my mom texted him every day, asking how his day went and if he was all right. 
I thought it was her. I was like, was that your grandma? He deleted it real quick so I couldn't see. And uh, he said, yeah. And uh, his attitude changed just a little bit. And I'm thinking, yeah, I know. I'm getting a lot of text messages aggravating sometimes. But I didn't think nothing of it. Walked in the house. He said he was going to go upstairs and clean his room. Didn't hit me till later, but his room was pretty much always clean. And that was the last time I slept. That I seen him alive. Whatever that message was, I don't know. Whoever it was from. Shame on them. They cost me one of my children, and my children are the most important things in my life. And I can never get them back. I never share another birthday, Christmas, or Halloween. And how old was he? Eighth grade? Seventh grade? I, he would have been starting Stubbins High School the following year. That's the thing, they still send you that stuff even though your child's gone. So while you're trying to heal, you're getting little cards, give this to your bus driver the next year. In the mail. Mm -hmm. Just something small like that. Just tears me up. I'll never understand why. Why people feel it's their right to make fun and bully other people for wearing glasses, for being smart, for wearing different clothes. Everyone has their own right to be their own person. And people should respect that. Instead of tearing each other down, they should build each other up. start losing his hair, or, or what was the reasoning behind it? I never found out. But he was getting injection shots in his head every couple of weeks, or once a month. He was seeing several different doctors. Nobody knew why. And the knot on his leg, they said more. I called. I was like, I just want to get the results. And they said, more tests need to be done. And I said, that's impossible. What, um, when you see a knot on his leg, what, uh... It almost looked like the bone was sticking out on the side of his knee. He told me nobody had ever, you know, nobody heard him, but how do I know that? Yeah. That's true. I found out my oldest daughter said at the funeral, she told me that he was jumped by four boys and I never even knew. He just told me everything was fine. I found that out of this funeral. Talk to that person, whoever sent that last text. Today. What would you tell him? I would tell him that they took my heart and soul from me. And that they should think about what they done. An apology wouldn't matter at this point. It's not going to change anything. But hopefully, if they ever have children, hopefully there's somebody out there that will think about it and not do similar things to their, their children. You know, most of us do have children and we grow up, and then their children might go through something that my son has, and then maybe that might strike a note with them. Look, I know the pain, or you know, I don't wish this pain on anybody it's it's hard to even live with it's hard to cope but people need to think about their actions and what it costs other people have a heart don't be so cold just because you don't understand why someone's different
Think about their feelings. Think about what if that was you? What if it was your brother, your sister, your own children? Did Paul have a group of friends? He had a few friends. His uh, cousin, Corey, and a neighbor here, Cody. Nah, there was a few others. Mm. And Tyler and Mikey. Mikey used to live across the street from us. I watched him grow up. It's kind of hard. He just had a little girl. It could have been my son starting a family, but he never had that chance because he let other people's opinions and their thoughts bring him down so low that he couldn't handle it no more. All I've ever wanted for any of my children, more than anything, it's not money, it's just to be happy. That's it. If they're happy, I'm happy.